Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Well, Casey, hello, and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you? I'm doing great. You know, typical Montana morning, lots of snow, hanging out with a 10-month-old grizzly bear that's eating a salmon head. That's what everybody's okay. doing this morning, right? Is that his breakfast or just, you know, a snack? It's a bit of a snack. He eats a lot more than that. You know, it's uh, maybe 20 pounds of food a day, so that's just a little bite. All right. Well, Casey, I want my audience to know that I'm talking about Discovery Channel's that pits man versus bear in this new competition series. And I'd like you to tell me about the competition series since you're the expert. Well, Discovery's Man vs. Bear is doing something that has never been done before. Literally a competition series where man and bear go head to head. In these competitions that we designed around what bears are really good at, the kind of natural behavior. And maybe more importantly, uh, the bears that are part of the show are all rescued bears that were orphaned in the wild and were going to be euthanized. So part of having them in captivity is to keep them happy and they love to compete in the show. So the competitions are all about what they do naturally and what they do to have fun. And people really do their best to try to compete with a grizzly bear. Tug of war, foot races, eating competitions, everything. Okay, Casey, we know this is done in a controlled environment. Is there any warning? Do not try this at home. Definitely do not try this at home. You know, it is a giant crew of experts that are keeping safety in mind, uh, bear experts on the scene that are always making sure the bears are happy and healthy. Uh, yeah, you don't want to go out there and run from a grizzly bear or try to have a tug of war with a grizzly bear. In fact, I think man versus bear is all about showcasing this awesome animal that we need to respect and give their space, give them a place to live out there in the wild. And if people fall in love with them by watching them in the show, I think that people will have that reverence and they will do the things that, it, that the bears need. They'll give them that opportunity. You told me you're in Montana. You're talking to me from Montana. Will we also see any uh, reverence for the environment? Well, you know, on Discovery's Man vs. Bear, I am really the voice of the bear and the wild. So during the competitions, I make sure that I am touching not only on how awesome a grizzly bear is, but yeah, the environment. Because without an intact ecosystem habitat for these grizzly bears, and the, the adequate amount of space and everything that is a part of that, that allows a bear to be healthy, that's as equally as important as just keeping a bear healthy in captivity. So in order to have a bear out in the wild in a healthy population, it's a much bigger picture. And throughout the show, I certainly touch on all those items and what that bigger picture looks like and what the viewers can do to make sure that these guys have a place to live out in the wild where they belong. Casey, tell me what makes you uniquely qualified that Discovery chose you to do this? Well, I've spent my entire life tracking down, filming grizzly bears, observing them, under, trying to understand and get to know more about them, all wildlife. Um, but a grizzly bear has always fascinated me. And, you know, I've spent the last 25 years out there learning as much as I can about them. You know, I hate to use the word expert, but uh, I, I, I would say there's hardly anybody else out there that has got to go witness bears out in the wild and then come home and get to hang out with a, a cool dude like Max. So. Uh, yeah, I think I can be the voice of them, and it's a huge responsibility. Um, there's a lot we don't know about them, and I think that uh, the curiosity to learn more and figure out who these guys are is really the true essence of what Discovery Man vs. Bear is trying to achieve. And my audience is listening to us on Facebook, and someone wants to know how old is Max. They don't care about your age. They just want to know how old Max is. <laughs> well, Max is the star. Max is 10 months old. He was a orphaned bear born in the wild in Alaska. His mother disappeared and he was destined to die. And uh, we rescued him, brought him here to the sanctuary in Bozeman, Montana. Montana Grizzly Encounter is the name of the sanctuary. And he'll spend the rest of his life here with us. And we'll do the best job we can to keep him healthy and happy. Well, Casey Anderson, I think we're gonna fall in love with you and Max. Tell us when you want us to watch you on the Discovery Channel, Man vs. Bear. Well, it's uh, on Wednesday night, December 4th, 9 Pacific Eastern. 
and you gotta tune in. It's, it's awesome, it's edutaining, it's exciting. And right here, this is the star of that show, The Bears. Well, we can't wait. Thank you for being so kind and bringing us the Bears in an environment that we can love them and see them. And we will be watching, Casey. Thank you for being my guest on the Velder BB Show. And can I tell you and Max both, happy holidays? Happy holidays. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. Thank you, Casey. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder BB, host of the Valder BB Show. I have used Credit Help USA the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder BB Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit credithelptx.com, click on the Valder BB Show icon, and get started living life divinely. <music>